I've already hit record on my Taz cam, so it's going, I'm double checking, and I also will say, this is the bride's letter. I'll say this out loud so I can sync this later. Also, I'm gonna take the microphone, I'm gonna hide it around the back side of her, so it's not showing in the film. So I'll hide it, and I will kind of sit it over here on the back side, maybe just right up against her, right next to her, and I'll just make sure that the wire is kind of hidden. And I'll make sure, hey, don't get up after this. A lot of times the bride ends up getting up after that and knocking it off the ground anyway. Right before this as well, I would ask the photographer, hey, are you planning on like spraying and praying? Or do you have flash, whatever? And I will remind them how important this moment is to me. So I'll just make them aware of it and say, hey, this is really important for me to get really good audio. Feel free to take photos, especially if she gets emotional or whatever, but we can also fake some photos after it's over. Um, a couple of other things that I was thinking about here. Once I hit record, I'm not trying to move my camera a lot. If I have one camera, if I have a second camera, my second shooter is in here, I'll have them get reactions. If the girls are all sitting around, usually the maid of honor or the sister or the mom might be like trying to hold in emotion as well. So action and reaction. Lastly, this frame right here is important for me to let my second shooter know, or if I'm solo shooting, I know it, but I framed her on the left side of the screen. So I want to match that the opposite way with whenever I do the groom reading the letter, having him on the right side of the screen. So just making sure that I know that I might take a photo and text it to my second shooter. I'm just saying, here's how I framed it. So in the edit, it's almost like they're looking at each other. We've got bride on the left, groom on the right, and they're going back and forth sometimes with this edit. If you're thinking about like the, at this point, they're already mic'd up. So I might ask some really easy questions and I might say, uh, answer me or I might like look at her, I might have her look at her girls. A couple things though is like I want to get on her eye level. So I'm going to be like get on eye level so she's looking at me and not like looking up on screen. She's already here, she's already in that emotional, she's in this moment. We might as well ask her these questions because this is gold five years from now, ten years from now. So all right, you've had a little bit of time to think about it but if you had to describe Luke um, to me I've, I've only met him, you know, a couple times, whatever. How would you describe him to me as if I've never met him before? Okay, I would say um, Luke is very kind. He's disciplined. He's soft-spoken. He's kind of, like, has a very tough exterior, but on the inside, he's, like, the nicest person ever. He's funny. He's laid back, super easygoing. We have so much fun together. He's just a great guy and I love him so much. <laughs> That's awesome. A couple things on interviews. You can ask a question and just shut up. Just let them go. Um, another question I asked that I'm not going to make her go through today though is like, tell me your story. Like, tell me how you guys met. Actually, go ahead. Tell me a little bit. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, how you met, where you were in life, and then how, you, how we've ended up here today. Okay. I met Luke when I was 20. He was 21. He went to OU for college and I was at Arkansas and one of his best friends also went to Arkansas and was one of my good friends. So Luke came to visit our friend and they were at a party together and I ended up being at that party and our mutual friend introduced us and honestly from the moment we met it was like an immediate connection. I don't want to say love at first sight but basically that's what it was and we just continued talking. We spent the whole party talking and then we exchanged numbers and we were long distance all of college until we graduated and then we moved to Oklahoma City together. And that's our story, that's how we met. I love it. And that's a couple of things too when asking, like I'm on eye level, I'm keeping eye contact with her, I'm actually interested in what she's saying. I'm not just like looking down or only like she's only seeing me look whatever. I'm like trying to connect with her and just understand that story because she might say, hey, we met at college or we met, we have a dog, we have a what, like, so I'm listening for those kinds of things. So maybe there's a photo of that dog at the reception or maybe they've incorporated part of their story so I know what kinds of things to be looking for. Um, after this, I just uh, tell them how great of a job they do. I help them get their, uh, you know, if the, if the makeup artist is still there, sometimes I'm like, hey, sorry, you're a little, uh, we need to fix some of the makeup or whatever now, but um, this is, uh, I have her just kind of unclip and drop that down and then um, she's done and she can get ready to get in her dress. Okay. Thanks. Do you hear what she said? Say it one more time in the mic. Perfect. What? That was easy. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, um, 
the reason I really love those kinds of open-ended questions, just like tell me about him or tell me your story or why are we here today? And then shutting up and listening is like, they don't have time to prepare for it. And it's like really what they feel and like what they're going through. And, and that's really important. I've been married over 15 years and it's like, how did I feel in that moment? Like to be able to push play and go back to that is gonna be invaluable for them. And that's part of the ethos of my brand and like what we do as wedding filmmakers. From prep to uh, letter readings to interviews, lighting, how to hook up to the DJ's audio board, all the stuff that we do on a wedding day, we are gonna show you in this section of the course. Right here at my lens with your eyes. All right. Now I'm gonna come in while, while they're there, trying to get multiple shots.